Hey, welcome back, Rogue Techers. Uh, when last we left off, we are still out here in uh, the edge of the periphery in House Merrick space. We're still at Sackville right now. We're waiting for our structural integrity or our, our uh, external structure to be updated here and repaired before we leave orbit. But we're going to head over. Looks like the Circinus Feder Federation has lost a whole bunch of worlds here to uh, House Merrick. So we're going to head over here. Um, I think the last time we had a look at these, there was a... Uh, um, a certain percentage owned by um, House Mark and um, Circinus Federation, but it looks like they lost their capital here. So we're going to head over to that area there and see if there's anything we can do about it. I don't think we'll be able to help them regain their capital back, but we're going to head over there and see what kind of contracts there are. So once these six days here are up, uh, repairing our ship here. Now in the real game, you don't really need to wait six days, but for the sake of role play, we say we need to still be in orbit hey, to Bob, be able to to uh, finish up our repairs. So now we've got our, our uh, structural integrity integrity up here a little bit, so we're going to just um, quickly go to navigation again, and we're going to head over to Circinus Federation. Going to go to Circinus, four days, 14 days travel. It's not too too far away. Large population. They've got a mega city. Um, no manufacturing or anything, but uh, recreation and research. So we might be able to find some like former Star League presence and stuff. We might be able to find some good stuff in the store when we get there. And we're still 20 days away from our, uh, well, not now, but we were. Yeah, we were about 20 days away from our next financial report, so we're still in comfortable position. Once we get there, I think we'll look for a big fat contract. Something we can make some good money off of. Now, most of the times I try to take contracts that will enable me to get better gear. Um, I think a lot of the time people who are playing uh, Rogue Tech don't spend the time to really gear up their lower level mechs. They just try and race and get um, mediums and then heavies as best they can. But I always find that spending a little bit of time in the lower level, um, getting your pilot's experience and getting some good gear for your mechs really helps you out later on. An alarm goes off in the command center, drawing your attention. Darius checks her readout and says, Commander, something just exploded in the me mech bay. A moment later, Yang's voice comes over the comm. Sorry, boss, we had a little accident down here. Nothing to worry about. Nothing's on fire, just um, one of the techs having an off day. We'll get it straightened out. So we can either get send Darius down some help, or we can trust Yang to handle the situation, or we can make sure Yang has enough resources. I think what we'll do is we'll send Darius down to help, see if there's anything that he can do to move things along. Oof. Darius nods and heads down to the mech bay. When he reappears an hour later, he is spattered with oil. You pin him with a, a question. Uh, what happened down there? <laughs> Darius shakes his head. Apparently the tech punctured a pressurized tube of hydraulic fluid on his lifter, and it went everywhere. They're still cleaning it up, and the equipment is going to need repairs. Hydraulic fluid? Everywhere? Darius repeats. The company suffers a minus two tech point for 30 days, so at least we don't have any mechs in the mech bay, but we'll try and minimize the amount of damage we take, obviously, in the next little while. All right, we're here at Sakinis now. Let's find out what's in the store. I always like to look at the store first, because you never know. There might be some good gear there. We've arrived at our destination, Commander. Just take a visit to the store. We do have a few things we can upgrade our mechs with at this moment, but uh, I think what we'll do is we'll just quickly th look through the store and then drop into a quick mission. And we'll do some upgrades at the end of the uh, episode here. So it looks like, oh yeah, there's some pretty nice stuff here. LRM-20, accuracy, damage, invasion, plus one accuracy, yeah. If we had some missile boats, that would definitely be worth it. Heat bank. We can get heat banks now. That's kind of nice. And really nothing much else. Unless we can get some dead fire ammo for LRMs. Nope. Okay. So I don't think we really have anything to sell, but we'll just take a quick look and see if there's anything we can uh, dump off. I think we did that already. So we got our spider and our venom. AC5 Ultra we're going to hang on to. Flamers we want to hang on to. Vehicle flamers we'll hold on to. Mag shot, large laser, mediums. I think, you know what, I don't think there's really anything we want to sell here. We've got one clan light machine gun, pirate heavy machine gun. I don't think we'll end up using that. Well, we might. It's one heat, but how much, what's the weight on this? Two tons, so it's not really worth it, worth it. so we're going to sell that for 40000 Clan PPC, obviously we're going to hold on to that. Rocket launchers, eh, we'll hold on to them. Maybe we'll use them, I don't know. Um, we've got four tags. Uh, let's sell a couple of those. We don't really need four tags. 
Um, Thunderbolt 10. I think the rest of this stuff down here we want to hold on to. It's nice to have a few different engines of various sizes just in case. Um, so this guy here, 19 tons, this one is... Yeah, so we're going to sell the larger one here, or the two, because I don't think we'll really have mechs for that next little bit. Minus 30, 27. Maybe we'll sell this other big one. We don't, we're not going to have the use for that right away. So and we're, we're sure to pick some up in the next little while. So Clan Indo Steel, so that's about it. So let's have a quick look at the contracts now and see what's going on here in Sir Kinnis Federation. Or Sir Kinnis in now in, in uh, Lyrian Commonwealth. Sorry, uh, Free Worlds League space. So uh, once again, let's just uh, click out of this and then back in just so that we uh, refresh the um, the contracts because I often find that they don't load quite right every single time. So let's quickly look through, see if we can upgrade any mech warriors. This gives this guy some tactics. Mech confirm that. Flatliner. Um, yeah, let's bring his piloting up just a little. Well, maybe guts. No, piloting. Let's bring his piloting up just slightly. Actually, this is our missile boat. So maybe we're going to bring his tactics up here. Confirm that. And yes, we're going to take gunnery for sure. Training complete. Get some accuracy. Confirmed. Height. Once again, let's get some gunnery. Mech Confirm that. What do you need? Uh, payroll. Let's go for guts on this training one. Confirmed. And Bane Skater. Oh, good. We got our multi target on Bane Skater now, so we're going to take that. And we'll confirm that. Cool. Training complete. Excellent. So we got three multi targets now, which is perfect because we've needed that in the past. Now he's got a little bit extra. So maybe we add a bit to piloting as well. Let's confirm this. Cool. Complete. All right. So Command Center. Let's check with our contracts now. Looking for something for good pay. Doesn't look 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 like there's any Circinus Federation stuff here. So maybe we go for something. Ooh, letter of mark. Um, that's a possibility. Battle in the Badlands. Um, experienced pilots and in, in elderly mechs and vehicles. Uh, there's only two of ten salvage though, so maybe not. It's the only two skull. Forward observers. That's taking out a lance. But there might be another lance involved. A thorn in the side. Uh, assassinate. Yeah, let's try an assassinate mission. I think that's probably a, the best bet to get some half decent gear. Usually it's, you know, um, the person that you're assassinating has a mech that's generally um, bigger than the, the skull of the mission. So we might be up against the heavy mech, maybe. Hoping, hoping for a medium. Maybe it's a Wolverine. That would be great. So, smugglers funded by pirates have set up just outside our borders, causing an ongoing problem for Merrick operations. We'd like to cut, off the, cut the head off this particular snake with a targeted, limited, and deniable strike on their leader. Ideally, this will shut them down permanently. So we're going to do that. Um, they have more than just a simple token force there to be prepared for anything. So chances are we're going to be face facing two lances plus a, a boss, maybe two weakened lances, I don't know. We'll see. But let's go in. We're going to go for everything. We've got uh, ample money right now, so we're really looking for good salvage. So let's just drop in and give these guys a hello. Alright, here we go. Looks like there's a couple of lances up there. Check in a second here. So, Martian terrain. Looks like that's mm, Trebuchet or Katyushka, which is going to be bad for us. Um, yeah, looks like they've got an initial lance here and then looks like they got reserves coming in too so we've got two choices we can try and bake this guy real fast and try and get out of here which is unlikely because I think we're gonna have to kill everybody um, or we try and kill these guys first because but if this guy's a cat Yushka, he's gonna be pummeling us with missiles the whole time so let's just reserve back to turn one. I mean, it's going to give them a chance to move in, but this looks like a that's prime okay. Spot for an ambush. Be careful, Commander. You don't want to get caught in a crossfire. Oh, that's it, Darius. I'm promo promoting you to captain. Captain Obvious. Okay, so let's Skipper. take in height. We don't want him to unload with flamers right off the bat, but we're going to bring him in just so we can see what we're up against here. 
All right, three targets. Mm. Doesn't look like they're going to move. So once again, let's bring Bane Skater up. Uh, let's try and get him in the um, whirlwinds here. Get a little bit of defense. All right, and then ground zero we'll bring in. So it doesn't look like they're moving. So I'm going to try and move to higher ground here with some good evasion. Okay, there's two mechs. So maybe it is two weakened lances of three mechs each. Okay, we're going to bring our missile boat just up behind the hill here. And he's going to pop over the next uh, turn here. So we're going to reserve again. I want them to move in. So it looks like there's four in the lance. So let's reserve, see what they all do. Looks like it's all four lights, so that's good. The right oh, they're going to do the same, eh? Aye, aye. I action. think they might be waiting for their uh, guys at the back to move forward. Oh, I don't see anybody more... Anybody else back there now? All right, so let's do. Order. Let's get them to move. So height, I want to bring you over here. We're gonna do some sneaky tactics. So we're gonna go behind the hill here. Quick See if we can draw some of them forward. So now he's behind here, right? We want to kind of bring them out, see what they what they're gonna do, and then we can step up on top of the hill and hit them with our big weapons. Yeah, so they do have reinforcements coming in. I think they're just probably waiting for them to show up. Which is not good for us. Which means we're going to be engaging multiple targets at once. So... I really want to keep a focused fire going on these guys. So how big is this? It might be big enough to just kind of hide behind. With the panther, maybe. Is it big enough? Yeah. Might shield him a little bit from some of the guys, just for this turn. So the real trick with um, engaging so many guys at once is really using the terrain to your advantage and getting into a position where only a limited number of guys can shoot you. And then the other thing too is to make sure, like for instance in this case, my uh, mech here has got everything his big weapon in his left arm. So we want to make sure that our right side is turned mostly towards the enemy. So that's going to eat all the damage when they shoot at us. So we're just going to minimize our heat here. Just go with the one PPC. Hopefully we hit him. Nice. And now we have eyes on so we don't need to move in our uh, missile boat back here. We can just shoot him from a distance. So that guy's moving almost nothing. So we're just going to step up here. We're not going to move very far. And we're going to put a couple racks of missiles into this guy. Good chances to hit, so hopefully we can pull him. I think we'll take him right out of the match here. 35 to the center. So we're only going to unload one set of missiles. We're going to save some for later. I think we can get enough hits in the center. Can we? Yeah. He bailed. Good stuff. So one down really quick. No, 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 bail out. Another Jenner X, cool. I don't really want Jenner parts. Why would you do that? Cattle Master, not really worried about him. He's got smalls and, and machine guns, so as long as we stay at a distance. Oh, that's a large laser. So, well, there are um, trebuchets with lasers, so he could be a laser boat. All right, I'm going to take the opportunity here before this Jenner moves, because he's got like no armor, especially in the back. Um, the Cattle Master, we're not worried about machine guns and small lasers, so we can stay far enough away from him. But we're going to move Ground Zero first. We're going to move into the uh, s to the swirl here, because we're just going to walk. We want to have a little bit of defense. Aye, aye. We're not going to have a, that much evasion, but we'll have a little bit of protection from the, uh, the um, whirlwind. And we're going to put a shot in this guy's back. So he's going to be dead if he doesn't move. Yeah, he's got to move. Okay, it's a hit for 30. At least we're in the whirlwind. Reduces the damage by one quarter, which is good. Um, so that guy's already fired. I think we're going to save Vanskater. I don't want to move height up. So what we're going to do is we're going to reserve just to see where they move. Oh, they're reserving as well, are they? All right, that's fine. 
ready. Let's remove this guy as a threat. So we've got a little bit of a vision impairment on this guy. So I wonder if there's a position we can get into that's not going to have that. I don't think so. So I think I want to move a little bit. Um, I'm going to move back here, make it more Copy difficult for them to see me, get a bit of a vision. And we're going to unload both missile racks on this guy and hopefully be able to take him out. All we got to do is try and penetrate that CT. Boom. Game over. Nice. It's a good thing that they got really low yeah. armor. So I was right. There was two lances of three. You can tell by up here in the top left. Okay, so is that a, that's a spider. I was worried it was going to be a uh, Venom there for a second. Okay, so let's pull in Vein Skater now. I want to move height just yet. We're going to move into the uh, Whirlwind here. Get some evasion and some protection from the Whirlwind. And we're just going to fire, leave the SRMs off because we're not really going to be able to hit. Narc tag, small laser, well, small laser's not going to hit. Just try the mag shot, just fire a few things on them. Really the, the purpose of this was just to get close. Okay. See what they do. I want to know what this guy here is. Because he didn't move very far last time. So that, 18. That's an AC2, so probably a commando? Maybe? Alright. Let's give him the good news. So we're going to come over the hill here. Do something a little unorthodox. We're going to come right up behind this guy. Oh, it's a dagger. Well, should have moved farther, buddy. And we're going to unload everything into this guy's back. I think we should be able to pull him down here in one shot. Four hits. 88 heat. Not quite. That hit something good. Bet you we're pretty close, though. Yeah, he's not going to be doing anything this turn. Oh, no. Firing the narc, I guess. Cattle Master will come over and shoot us in the back, probably, but with the minimum amount of weapons he has, oh, he's going to melee. That's probably the smarter move. Oh, even with four chevrons of evasion, really? Oh, he got me CT'd. That was a critical hit. Yeah, man, you're running out of there, don't worry. Yep. That may not have been the wisest move, but wanted to take the chance. I wanted to know if this guy was an Irby, because if he was, I wanted to get rid of him as fast as possible. So Heights could definitely go in first, and he's coming right back to where he was before. Just going to move him back over here, make sure his back's not pointing towards anybody. Get him behind that hill there. So now they can't see him, and he'll stay there this turn. Let's see what they're doing. A couple of points. Damage is light. So we want to employ Vane Skater now. We're going to move over here a little bit. Uh, I don't want to move where the rest of the guys can see me, obviously. So we've only got two targets here. So we're going to unload on the dagger. Definitely going to go with the SRM. Let's try the Goss Mag Shot. I don't know if it'll hit. Uh, medium Pulse. Small. Uh, no, just go with the Medium Pulse. Let's just see what happens here. There you go. Thanks for coming out, Bubba. Hope we can sell the set. I don't. I want the Big Mac, whatever it is. Okay, Commando 1C. That's what I thought. AC2, medium laser. Barely hit, Commander. So we're just going to stay out of the way to that Cattle Master. We're going to walk because we're a little bit unstable here, but we're going to move back. Um, I can't hit the commando from here. I want to shoot the commando, actually. Can I shoot him from anywhere? From up here, really? How do you can sh how can he shoot at me from there and I can't shoot back at him? How does that work? What? Okay, whatever. Let's try the spider. It's again moving back. We're going to show him our right side. We're losing the stability there that we had problems with, so we're going to fire PPC. Still 94% chance to hit, so I don't know why I was complaining. Welcome to the party, buddy. Yeah, a little 
little bit of damage here or there. Waiting for orders. Okay, so we're really not going to move very far. We're just going to move back a little bit to make sure that guy's in our... We're in his flank attack, floor flank, and then we're going to just unload. Um, we got tons of missiles. Well, let's just unload with one. That's all we'll need, I think, to kill this guy. Boom. Goodbye. Now, if these guys were fully armored, it would be a different story. We'd be melting back at this point. Just pulling back. Keep firing that large laser. I want you overheated by the time you get here. Okay, so let's deal, first of all. We're going to move forward. We're going to deal with this uh, commando. And just going again with the PPC. Target destroyed. There's a CT for you. Nice. So that ER PPC is basically becoming the uh, um, workhorse of all our mechs here. It's really the, the surgical strike unit. As soon as you can get a unit like that where you can get a, a large damage weapon, I suggest you do it. It's really, really helpful. So we're not going to move him at all, but we're going to move Vein Skater back. Um, we're not going to overheat here, uh, leaving the pulse laser off. SRM-6 won't matter. We're going to narc and tag him. So we got the narc and the tag on, and then we're going to unload him on him with missiles after this. So we're just going to reserve height. Let their medium guy go. And he's jumping. So I'm interested to see what this guy is. Maybe he's a... Oh, he's got a... That's a lot of... Six damage. What the hell is that? Yeah, I know. We're getting out of there. Don't worry. We won't be there next turn. So, Flatliner's not going to move. We're going to unload on the Cattle Master. We're going to fire. So now they're not going to have eyes on in a second. Um, I'm going to move you back here. We want to be out of range of that guy for the next turn. Cattle Master's going to go. I'm not sure what he's doing here. Probably panicking a little bit. Okay, he went after the 5T, which is great. Because now we're going to move back behind the hill. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move ground zero. We're going to sprint back here. Um, trying to get behind this hill primarily here. Um, hmm. Is that going to be enough? Probably. Right here. Do this. It's my leg that's been damaged, so we've got to be careful here. It took some stability too, so down to 21 internal. So we've got to really kill this guy fast, so we should be able to do it right here. Solid connection on that one. Leg, torso, arm. And then we should be able to follow up with the vein skater here. We're just going to move back down here. Hmm. Going to sprint down here. Like this. Going to take a shot for his head. Uh, so we'll put the SRM-6 in there. And the small. How much is left in the CT here? 16. We're going to go for a headshot. We might get him. We might not. Oh, well, he's done. Cool. Tango, down. Tango is down. We're going to reserve. Let's bring this guy forward. And then we'll uh, let Height go say hello to him. How far is he going to get? Not very far. So I don't know if those were rocket launchers he fired. Or if that was... Um, hmm, that's a sprint, eh? I thought he would have been able to go farther than that. Oh, the wrong guy. Haha. -ha. Nice. Okay, I thought that was... Um, they could be um, ATMs. What is this guy? Is that a Griffin? It's a Griffin 2C. Oh, shit. Okay, well, this should be really, really fun. We gotta make sure he doesn't fire. Well, we got no choice on this. So, at least height goes before him. Commander? So, Flatliner. Um, 
we're going to move up, going for a side hit, but we're going to offensive push him because we want everyone to go before him, and we're going to try and shoot his head here with all our missiles. Now, I don't know if he's got a clan cockpit or not. So offensive pushes are great in right in the right position, like the right uh, time using them. Um, they can cause a whole bunch of havoc for the enemy, which is exactly what's about to happen to this guy. So I want to get point blank on him because I don't want to miss with any of my flamers. I'm going to sprint in and we're going to unload with everything. All weapons, go. One, two, three, four, five. So he's overheated. He's done. Game over, friend. Game over. All right. So everyone goes before him. So we're going to sprint uh, Vane Skater up. We want to get him to the clearest line of fire here. Because the guy's shut down, we have a free shot. We're going to go after his head. And we're going to use every... Well, can't use everything. We're going to use everything we can, then, to shoot for his head. Was that a head hit? Was it? Was it? Was it? No. Oh, it was. Nice. So he's got a lot of head health. So Got it. I don't know whether I want to use the ERPPC. If I hit it, I'll take his head clean off. He's got tons of armor though. So let's just take a wild shot. I'm going to fire with both. No. Don't know where I hit him though. CT crap. Figures. I should have just used the medium. Oh well. So Flatliner's not going to move. Uh, once again, going right after his head. Fire everything. Okay, do we knock him down? Take that. Battle mech power up detected. Okay. Confirmed. He's wobbly. So we're gonna use doesn't really matter which ones we turn off here. It's gonna use three flamers. Three hits. Let's get this done. And that should knock him down. Critical hit. No. Okay. Ready for orders. Once again we're not gonna move. We're gonna shoot for his head with low damage weapons. Because we don't want to really do too much damage to him. That should overheat him. Knock down, so another pilot hit. Two of five now. And he's shut down. Okay, now I'm not going to fire this turn. I'm going to take my, my time and we're going to move around to his other side where he hasn't taken so much damage. I'm going to do the same thing with Flatliner. He's pretty much paralyzed. There's not much he can right, do right now. So if we can get to his other side, we can have a quick look at him. Now he's just going to be able to stand up. That's all he's going to be able to do. Right? So we've pretty much done most of the damage on this side. If we can get a knockdown with a torso destruction and not kill the CT, we're going to be in a good uh, position here. So we haven't gone through the back armor yet. It's 15. He's not overheated. So once again, we're just going to go for, for a rear shot. It's our best chance to hit. We can only use two flamers this time. Two hits. 44 heat. Oh, nice. Vane Skater, you can totally be the hero here. We're going to go after his head. Um, offensive push. Going for his head. How much has he got left in the torso? Still 24. 80 in the CT, so we should be okay. At least we can just maybe just try and shut him down. That's it. Done. Game over. So there's just a little bit of uh, jogging for position there. We were able to take this guy out pretty much intact. So that's cool. So now we've got a really good chance to get some components. But once again, uh, my rule is always I can't choose mech part salvage um, as much as I'd like to. But um, it just makes the game far more difficult for me, and that's kind of how I enjoy it. So our fire starter took some fusion core and, and uh, XL engine damage, so we're going to have to repair that. But other than that, we did really well on this mission. So 
low parts, we got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chances to get mech parts from the Griffin 2C, which is great. Jenner parts, which we really don't want, but there's a whole lot of them here. Um, so let's find out what we can do. We want the laser, large ER laser, clan laser for sure. Um, medium ER clan laser for sure. The small would be nice, but I'm thinking probably there's better stuff down here. SRM4 streaks are kind of cool. Six streaks are cool, especially the clan ones are only three tons. 21 heat still though. We don't really have anyone that can take advantage of them. Uh, what else? Clan Pharaoh, Clan Cockpit, Clan XL Engine, which is like, what, two and a half million? For cash, maybe? I don't know. Clan Double Heat Sinks, all kinds of good stuff here. Clan Endo Steel. Um, I can't remember how many of our mechs actually have Clan Endo Steel. Um, I know we have one in storage right now, and I'd like to be able to use that to give us more space on the current mechs we have. So I'm thinking, probably, uh, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the Clan Endo Steel, and then at the end of this mission, we will go and upgrade our mechs with this large Clan ER laser and the uh, medium ER Clan laser. Uh, we might be able to... to rejiggy out our second panther maybe. So let's confirm this, see what else we get here. So cattle master part, big deal, commando part, only one griffin part. Ugh. Three Jenner parts, AC2, and the rest is pretty much garbage. So... Oh! Circinus Federation took Circinus from the Free Worlds League. Um... I don't even know how that happened. Sure. That's just great. Three of our mechs were damaged. Cool. That's, you know, 13,000. That's not bad for repairs. I mean, we didn't make a lot of money off this one, but 13k is actually pretty good for repairs when we were facing seven mechs. So, all right. So let's get our mechs repaired here real quick. Then we're going to go in. And with one day left before the end of the month, we're going to go into the mech bay. Um, and we're going to have a look what we can do. Now I know we've got, let's just quickly have a look at some of our components here. So first of all, we want to have a look at our fire starter. Um, I know we're having severe heat problems on this guy. So we're going to have a look at how we can maybe fix that a little bit. So let's repair this stuff here. It's going to be 6k, which isn't nothing, but five days is a little bit. Uh, so we got Clan Endo Steel already on here. Um, let's have a look at what we've got. Like, I mean, I don't want to drop you got the Clan XL in this guy too. I don't want to drop the ECM suite, although I'm tempted to. The TTS plus two energy I want to keep because making sure we hit with the flamers is always a really good idea. Not sure this exchanger is working how I want it to work. Um, we might be able to just pull the exchanger this one and then put in a two-ton one, and then throw a double heat sink in if we have one here. I think we do. We have a clan double heat sink. So let's move this one over to the other leg. Throw the clan double heat sink in. Now I still don't even know. Like heat sink is 54, Alpha Strike 25. I think on a normal world the Alpha Strike is actually technically double. So it might be 50. I don't know. We're gonna try this. It's giving us a bit more heat, kink, heat sinking. The loss of 5% weapon heat is not a big deal because each one of these guys only generates like like 6 heat, right? It's like nothing. So the extra 6 heat sinks down here will probably help us out more than the actual percentage. So we'll do that. Um, if I had two more double heat sinks, I'd pull this out and put two double heat sinks in, but we don't. So we'll leave it like that. We're going to confirm this 7 days. The next thing I want to look at is our trebuchet. The trebuchet hasn't been really upgraded in a while, so let's have a refit on this guy and see what we can do with him. Now, I know we bought a little while back, we bought a medium laser, double plus. Either that, we bought it or we, we picked it up somewhere along the line. I want to see if there's a way we can get that in here. Now, I don't think we actually have any extra gyros that are lying around. We do not. 
So I'm not going to worry about pulling out the regular endo steel from this guy. Definitely going to leave the case in, case enabled. Um, and I don't know what. We have a double heat sink. We could probably lose. I mean, our heat sinking is what is 66, and our alpha strike is 50. So let's pull out the double heat sink here because um, we really don't need it. Um, so that's one ton. And the ECM Warfare Suite, we want to leave in. We want to keep that plus one accuracy in the defense. So let's go to our... Um, let's go to our weapons and see what we've got here. Uh, weapons. Lasers. Because um, really that's all we can stick in here is more lasers. So let's... Hmm, we've got the... I don't want to put a bigger weapon in, but maybe we put in the clan ER in this arm. Actually, let's put it in the other arm. Let's move it over to here, because we really want to protect this side more than the other side. And then we'll put this plus damage medium laser on this side. Actually, you know what? I think I want to save that for the Panther. So let's leave that there. Um, I could just put a regular ER medium in and then leave the double heatsink where it was. And let's see what we're at here. So 60 and 66, that's actually pretty good. So we've increased our range with our lasers, so we can actually shoot those from farther away, which is good. So I think that's what we're going to leave this one at for now. Um, if we can get a good gyro in here, uh, we can probably upgrade one of these lasers here to like a clan large, or we can implement this uh, large laser here. So let's just confirm this. And then we want to have a look at the other, the second Panther. So the Panther 5T. Let's have a look at this guy. This guy is kind of barely functioning the way he is. So I'm thinking, since he's mostly got ballistic hard points on this side, and only, what, one, two laser hard points in the center, that's 18 heat. The Gauss mag shot does five and a small laser is eight so it's 31 hmm. I'm not convinced using this guy as a second mech to overheat is the wise choice if I'm feeling like we're undergunned if we want to take on harder targets we're going to need to upgun our guys here so I'm thinking maybe let's have a look at the missile stem so maybe we can make this a streak. Uh, a streak four possibly. So that's three tons. Better chance to hit. Um, hmm. We do have a double heat sink now too so we can make him a little more heat efficient. He's not really quite heat efficient just yet. So maybe we pull out. Let's see what we got for ballistic here. Ultra 5, which is like 9 tons. It's ridiculous. Clan, machine gun. Um, it's only like 0.25 tons, though. Heavy machine gun, 6 times 6. But we need we need ammo in here, so we could have to dump half a ton of ammo in. Um, so it's at least 1.5 tons. And let's say we put this in as well. 1.75 tons. We can pull out the small and the mag shot. That pretty much covers pretty much covers that weight. The mag shot's nice though. It's like no heat, right? Hmm. I don't know if we need to make this guy a big damage weapon mech. It would be nice. Um. What if we pull out the medium pulse and we go with, I mean, if we want to have this guy help out, we could put two flamers in the center and then convert the SRM-6 into a damage weapon platform. Uh, let's see here. We don't have any TTSs in this guy, but that might be a way to do it. Um... Maybe we put in, here's a thought, we put in, uh, we're going to save this 
triple plus flamer in case we lose one of the fire starter, but we can put in this one with plus one accuracy, this guy with uh, minus two heat generation, and then we can pull out the small laser and we can put in the other flamer, the clan flamer that we have that's half a ton. Then we can convert the SRM6 to um, a regular SRM ammo for damage output. Um, the Gauss mag shot, I think we can probably leave. Like our heat sinking has already gone way up, right? We're in perfect condition now for heat. So I'm thinking that's what we're going to do. I think we really don't need to do much more than that. Um, I mean, we could make this a streak four and have better accuracy, but I'm thinking that we're already doing okay for accuracy. But it almost feels counterproductive to make a second flamer boat. I mean, if we forego the NARC beacon, I mean, NARC is nice. But we leave the tag in. Let me think about this for a second. Let's pull out our flamers again. And let's pull out the Gauss mag shot and the NARC beacon. And then we'll go to ballistics. So we've got, what? Six and a half tons right now. So with the SRM-6, it's ten and a half tons in total. Like, I mean, I could put the AC-5 Ultra on and make them a, another gun platform. I'd only have one ton of ammo, though. It's tricky. AC-2 is what? Six tons. But it's only 25 damage, but for six tons and no heat, I can pull some heat sinks out. But then it becomes a long-range platform. Or maybe that's a good thing, though. Or we could go heavy machine gun. We could go machine gun boat and use it as another support platform for... We can upgrade the engine, make it as a support platform once again for the fire starter as we were intending it to be. So if we go to um, engine cores, upgrade it to a 180, that's four and a half, and this is two and a half. So we're we increasing it by two tons. Um, for speed, let's just try this for a second here. So we're going to increase the engine core slightly. We're going to pull... Uh, we could put an exchanger in too for, to manage the heat, which I think we might end up doing, but let's do that. Then let's do... Um, because we're going to do this a point blank build. So let's put the Gauss mag shot back in. Let's put a heavy machine gun in the arm. Then let's put, we've got one more hard point on each torso. So I could put regular machine guns in there, four times four, heat six, or a clan light, two times five for a better range. Um, at 0.25 tons, let's, so let's do that. 0.25 tons, clan, regular machine gun on the other side. Um, so our heat right now is what? Heat sinking is 42, alpha strike is 35. So, and we've got tonnage left, but we need to use that for, let's pull out one heat sink, and we need to put ammo in. Um, let's see if they've got, let's go to check the store here. We want to see if they got uh, targeting ammo here, because I don't want to be going in. Um, let's go to weapons, support, half load of machine gun ammo do we have? They don't have Hmm. Half loads what? 150 rounds? It's 100 rounds. Right, sorry. So it looks like we're going to have to go full load of ammo. Put it in this leg. Because um, we're going to be using what? 6 plus 4 uh, is 10. And then this is how many? Right, 6. Yeah, 6 plus 4 is 10. And 5 is 15 per shot. So that's going to give us what? 10, 13 rounds of firing, which I think is plenty. Um, and we're still at 1.75 uh, tons left. So we got lots we can put in here. Um, we can put our laser in. Maybe we put in... I mean, the other thing, too, is we can put in... Maybe, what do we have for support here? Plasma torch. That's three tons, though, but 35 damage if we get behind somebody. Tag we've already got. So maybe we just put... We gotta take out 0.25 tons, I think. I'm really hesitant to pull off armor off this guy. There's no way we can make him lighter, though, unfortunately, as we reduce the engine again. 
But I don't think I want to do that. I think if he's going to support the fire starter, he really needs to have that engine in there. So maybe... Ooh, we can drop a vehicle flamer in. It doesn't generate any heat. We would have to lose armor, though, unfortunately. We're going to have to do that anyway, I think. Um, unless we do... Because we've got a couple of energy points. Unless we do like a small and a medium laser. We could put the medium double plus in here. And the small double plus. And then we can just increase the last little bit of armor here. I know we can't increase anywhere else. But I think that's probably how we're going to run it. Let's see how this functions. Now, we're, what's our heat here now? Yeah, see, 5339. So what we'll do is we'll pull out... Um, one, two, three heat sinks. We need at least three in for the engine, so we've got three there. And then we're going to go to equipment, and we're going to grab our exchanger and drop that in. Let's see how we're doing here. It goes way back up again now. So, yeah, 3942. Perfect. So that's going to work out well, I think. So we'll do that, see how this guy is going to perform in next mission. Our next game, that is, because I think we're done here for today. Let's have a quick look at this Panther. I don't think it really has anything that we need to refit. I think we're pretty good here. Oh, I could add the clan structure here. So let's see what we can get out of that. So if we end the clan endo steel, we pick up a ton and a half. Our heat efficiency is actually really good right now. It's actually not accurate because the PPC capacitor is in play and that throws things off a little bit. So one and a half tons doesn't really get us anything. Um, we could upgrade the fusion core, but I don't think there's any need to do that. Um, yeah, I don't, I mean, we can put a tag on and we don't, I mean, we can upgrade our armor slightly. There really isn't much left to upgrade on this guy. Um, we don't have a tagger, or do we? I don't think so. No, we just have a regular tag. Arc beacon. So maybe we throw a tag on. Um, it's not... What's it going to give us, though? Like, it doesn't really help this guy any. I don't have any more laser points. It's not like I can put lasers in here. And I don't have any room for... Wait, we got a we got rocket launchers. Could add three rocket launchers, but I don't. I've only got two missile hard points. So I could add an RL10 and a and a tag. SRM2 is one ton. So there's really we don't have any clan SRMs, unfortunately. I'm not sure if they're lighter or not, but so let's do that. Let's put a rocket launcher 10 in. We're gonna put it on this side. And we will add, oops, we want to go back to weapons. We'll add a tag. That's what we'll do. We'll put it on this side, I think. And I think what we need to do is if we have, I don't know if this guy can use arm hand. No, we just need an arm upper, which we don't have for accuracy. So let's move it over to this side so it's far more accurate. And I think that's what we'll do for this guy. So our heat sinking has gone down a little bit. Um, but we're still really good, I think. Um, that's taking into account this rocket launcher with five heat, which we're only going to be firing once. So let's confirm this. It's three days. Log and note. So be we're not going to be down for very long, ten days, and we should be up and running again. So I'm just going to run through the ten days here um, to get that done and out of the way. So the next time when we come back, we can take on another mission here. So let's see here. Marion Hagamoni surrendered. Returned two systems to the Lothian League. Defending side lost the war. Okay. Circinus Federation took Circinus from Free Worlds League. Okay, that's where we were. Greenstone. So Circinus Federation surrendered. Returned one system to Free Worlds League. Um. Let's just see what this looks like now. Let's get out of here. 
I'm interested in to see 282,000, not bad. Except this. So did that mean that they've returned Sir Kenneth? They did. I don't understand how we took this planet and then they returned it to Free Worlds League. I don't... Okay, well, maybe it's a bug. I don't know. But anyway, until next time, we're going to leave it here. And then when we come back, let's just finish this up. When we come back, we'll have our mechs up and running. And we'll get in and do another mission. Uh, I don't think we can flip this planet at all. But we'll give it one more shot and then see what happens. All right, but until then, we'll see you next time.